Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Please! Someone stop him! Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Citizens of Massachusetts Bay, the French take Fort Necessity in the colony of Pennsylvania. Ground forces are obliged to surrender. Ah, hello. Welcome. of the first water, Putney's on Mill Road, a name and reputation you can ride with. Hear ye! Shots fired in anger in the colony of Pennsylvania. Lieutenant Colonel George Washington has led troops in an attack on the French. The French have protested our king. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. 
He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. A lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position, but wait 
for me to take the first shot. Much for the element of surprise. Reinforcements! Shoot before they reach it! Use those spare muskets and you won't have to reload. inside what now we can blow the door with those go on shoot them <laughs> on with the show then guess they wasn't so safe inside after all Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <clears throat> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Atham, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many had to die. Aye. Terrible tragedy, that. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Careful, gents. Company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Stop them, Thomas! Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why is you always got to go and spoil the sport?
now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. After all this, if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> As I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed, and it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves, but nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals, no odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon.
Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your... shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewellery likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt. Thricefold, if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. <laughs> Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Wonderful. <clears throat> Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. I'll show you how. of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. A new bylaw will enforce annual roof inspections by qualified craftsmen throughout the city. to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him. 
before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for hire. Gentlemen dilettantes, amateurs and the curious public, show me what we Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Servants of Smithfield, the finest provider of beef, field and slime bullets of several varietals. The choice of all. I've asked the prize, but they all plead ignorance. Fuck of that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> good call. Hostilities increased as both French and British forces attempt to draw Indian allies to their side. And they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way.
scaffold. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Find the key. Wait here. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands, put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue, put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock, put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Now, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas! Do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. You'll be lucky to pass out. 
Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more crap. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Let's make them... Who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. 